A stock that has been on a tear this year is NCR. It's a 52 week high back on the 12th. And in fact, NCR shares have been steadily rising since May. Take a look at that. The one year return on this stock almost up 37 percent. Well, NCR is probably best known for making ATMs and those self service kiosks used by airlines and video rental companies. And today NCR announced it was making a big sales push into China, India, Brazil and Africa. Well, joining us now from our Atlanta bureau is NCR CEO Bill Nutty. Thanks so much. It's Nudie, right? Not Nutty. Is it's that right, Nudie. Bill? OK, Nudie. That's, I'm famous that, that for uh, butchering people's names, but I am going to try to get it right. Well, let's talk about your products. I mean, you're probably best known for the ATM, but you do have a diversified line of products as well. That's right. We're across six major industry segments. Financial services, of course, everyone knows us for the fact that we're the number one market share leader in ATMs, but we're also in retail and hospitality. You'd know us at the self-checkout counter or the point-of-sale counter, and a lot of software mixed in for a number of self-service applications in travel and gaming. You see us at the airport when you check in at the airport. You'll see us in gaming casinos when you plop that ticket in after you've won a whole bunch of money at the, the one arm Bandit. And you're going to see us, of course, in healthcare and then public sector. All right. So, well, I haven't had that particular gambling experience, but maybe one day, perhaps. But I will say this. Obviously, many of us use ATMs and have for many, many years now. But I will say also, at the same time, I don't use an ATM as much as I used to. Now, as your business develops and as people really, we move to sort of a world where people don't withdraw as much cash, where we tend to use plastic and other devices to pay our bills. How are you changing the ATM to keep up with the fact that people don't use them quite as much for cash? Well, cash in the U.S. over the last 18 months has actually been on the rise, largely as a result of the economy and, and the situation that's caused consumers to actually pull back on credit and actually go to the ATM and use the ATM for smaller but more frequent uh, withdrawals. Th that, that being said, uh, the big push going on the last 18 months to two years has been deposit automation. If you saw the Chase announcement this morning, they announced along with NCR they're going to be deploying uh, new technology for, and from NCR to make your life easier in terms of going to the ATM to use it to make a deposit of checks. And, and that application is on the rise dramatically. And the number of transactions being done at ATMs when you combine deposits and cash are nearly double what they were five years ago. That's amazing. And you're actually saying sort of the recession, the, the financial downturn, led to more people using the ATM as they wanted to sort of live more of a cash-based life as opposed to a credit-based lifestyle. Um, let's talk Thank about you. what you're doing overseas. That's become an increasingly important part of your business. Is 75% of your business now happens outside the U.S. Is there a possibility, though, in some of these emerging markets that they kind of skip the real need for an ATM as they sort of adopt a more cashless lifestyle? Uh, what we're seeing is the opposite. You know, whether you go to China, India, Brazil, other emerging in industrial economies, Indonesia, the Czech Republic, Nigeria, uh, the number of ATMs is on the rise fairly significantly in these emerging markets as cash is used more as a tendering mechanism. Certainly middle class is on the rise in those countries. Uh, will they be moving more towards a debit transaction environment and other types of payments? No question. But if you looked at a China or another emerging market, the number of ATMs per million people is around 300. In the U.S. and other Western European markets, it's around 1,300 ATMs per million people. So whether or not it gets to that higher watermark number or not, there's significant growth in, in, in our traditional business to be had there also while we're preparing the company to take advantage of some of these new technology segments that are arising. Bill, let's talk about sort of doing business overseas. There's a lot of risk for any company doing this. You know, clearly we talked about some of um, this morning. We we're talking quite a bit about what happened in Russia, a, a big terrorist attack there. But there are also currency fluctuations. There's a lot of political instabilities in these countries. Russia just being one of them. Um, there's also a lot of economic instability at the moment. How does that factor into the way you manage risk for the company? It factors quite a bit. I mean, the good news is we're balanced geographically in terms of our revenue streams, so we're not 
highly dependent on one of those markets. We're not even highly dependent on the U.S. market. But there's no question as economies develop, they're going to have ups and downs. And clearly the geopolitical environment is, is, is sensitive and it's, it's no different than it has been for the last few decades. We manage risk implicitly at NCR by looking at our revenue streams per country, making sure we understand what's happening in that market, make some forecast around what could happen, even planning on earthquakes occurring, not earthquakes in the general sense, but financial earthquakes, so that we can manage the company efficiently and productively during uh, any particular instance that may affect us, much like we did in 2009. Bill, we only have about 20 seconds here, but tell me very quickly, um, you come out with earnings on February 3rd. What can we expect? I would love to tell you that and the answer of that. Unfortunately, I can't because we're in our quiet period. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're looking forward to 2011. We had a terrific 2007 and 8. Obviously, along with everybody else, had a, a difficult 2009. 2010 will be a comeback year, and we're excited about 2011. All right, Bill, thanks so much for joining us here today on Fast Forward. Thanks to Bill Nudie, CEO of NCR Corporation. Earnings out. We tried to get a little preview there just in case, but earnings out uh, February 3rd. Bill, thanks so much. He's coming to us live from our Atlanta bureau.